how how do how does the younger more technologically savvy generation or technologically dependent generation start thinking about these scriptures i think in terms of the core message uh obviously the religion cannot evolve the core message will stay the religion does not stop us from uh, using technology so technology is fine um but there will be a difference of opinion as to what is the uh, you know the extent of the evolution of the religion so if somebody you know you're sitting here we're talking about religion this you know this will not have happened maybe 10 years ago you right so this is a proof that the religion is evolving in some sort you know in some uh in some degree um uh, but the question that you said okay can i sit here bear this you know whatever the yeah the oculus or the apple what is that uh, the, the apple whatever you got for the $3000 device that cracks <laughs> <laughs> and do my head sitting in karachi so i i yeah this is something that the scholars will definitely no and this is i mean i'm saying this from a person with disabilities right someone who has a physical disability yeah. cannot move someone who's too old but wants that experience yeah. does yeah You know what I mean? Like, can yeah. you, can this be permitted? That let him have a view of the place, and he can show his love for the place. He can see, have the feeling of being in that place. But I think at this point, Indian you know, of the scholars would say that you know, his hajj to nahi hua. You know, he hasn't on the hajj. He will actually physically will have to go to the place. But I think there are, there are different uh, shadows of evolution, and some of those will be easy to you know uh, accept, and some of those will be. difficult to accept and this is how it has been going on why parents and my editors tell me that when the you know the mic came the uh, you know, hmm. the electric mic huge to get should be used in the masjid or not and it went on for many decades before really? everybody agreed <laughs> that you could use the the speaker and the mic in the masjid and that was i that's going to be i'd say my last question is it's even you choose a life like this and especially someone with your background who was able to who could afford to travel overseas study overseas you know so you came from a certain background that could afford a certain lifestyle and that could afford this option where you could give up your work and you could go down this path right a lot of people don't have that luxury how do they maintain a lifestyle how do they afford a living if they want to go down this path uh, so, so our motto in Hidaya Academy is that this sort of scholarship you can have with your jobs, with your businesses, with your. So you keep your life going. So it's that is why I do my own business. I have this tech, and I have three different right. businesses that I run, and I'm actively running. So the business work. life, your work life, you continue. Right. This is something that you do, let's say, on the weekends, on the weekends, Six. in the evenings, yeah. and so, so there's. there's sacrifice yes you know generally people just do business or just yeah. work and they come back home and it's their time people like you know or some people do business and play golf you don't play golf you yeah. you know practice and you know spend time with your community we do really, and then i enjoy it also yeah. so there is what you do to enjoy so yeah yeah so you know my my brother he enjoys playing golf yeah i enjoy going to no hidaya can we meeting these people and, right that or we are going to you know was going giving a lecture at a university or all of that yeah. so I, you know i like that as well now i appreciate you taking the time this was i've been wanting to have this conversation and i feel like we've only scratched the surface it's difficult to have a conversation on religion in this country because people can interpret things very differently but i think that you know it's important to try for people to have an understanding and to be able to ask open ended questions and and have honest debate honest about about different topics and understand that you know what there are different schools of thought yeah there are going to be differences in thinking and as long as we can all get along and as well as long as we understand what the core message is and we believe in that message and you know then it's fine but i thank you for the time especially in ramzan to come in and have this conversation it was an honor for me and i wish you all the best for the hidaya academy and uh, for for great success ahead Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. It was also an honor for me to come here and speak to you and make and meet such a great person like yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned to more details. Please like and subscribe below. We have great more episodes coming up next. Bye-bye.